Hello everybody, I'm Martin and I'm going to tell you why HomeAdvisor is terrible for contractors. Number one is expensive. You pay for leads that don't even give you their full name, their number, their address, something. You're paying for these leads. Overall, it is not worth it. I'm going to break down my experience from start to finish with HomeAdvisor and how I actually found a hack to be listed on HomeAdvisor for free and that's something they don't want you to know about. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's get started. First off, I was gathering leads for a concrete company and where else to list besides HomeAdvisor? It was my first experience with it. I got listed on HomeAdvisor. We probably took about 30 leads Two of them panning out where we actually got the jobs, but the leads were very expensive. I would say about $80, some even more than $80 per lead. And most people, they fill out this thing on HomeAdvisor, da -da -da -da, and they're asking everybody in the whole city for a quote on their tiny little patio. Well, they're going with the cheapest quote, so the guy they're going to get the quote from can't be listed on HomeAdvisor because you got to make up for this difference you're paying home advisor so it doesn't makes it doesn't make sense unless they just came straight for you and they didn't talk to everybody else in the city so and we have good prices we can beat other people's prices but when you factor in you have to pay for that lead and you have to pay for all the other leads that didn't convert you need to make up like five six seven hundred dollars on each lead that you're paying for home advisor it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense at all we did it for probably just a little over a month. Um, that was how long we tried it out for. And at that point, I said, all right, we're done. I'm canceling. We're out. We're out the door. Shut it off. Shut everything off. Then about five months later, HomeAdvisor calls me back. And they want me to get listed. And I said, no, no, no. I, I'm not getting listed anymore because it's, it's just not worth it. Well, that's what sparked in my head. I got an idea on how I'll just get listed and then I'll pause my leads, which means I won't get any leads. And you can pause it on your phone for two days, but on the website you can pause it for 14 days. I would be listed on HomeAdvisor. If someone scrolled through HomeAdvisor for concrete, they would see the name of the company, but it would say we're not taking leads right now, but it would have the name of the company. I, our phone number, some other information, they could go to Google and look us up and still contact us. And that is how I got listed on HomeAdvisor for free. Currently to this day, I am still on HomeAdvisor. We still get some leads from HomeAdvisor, not nearly as much, but we don't pay anything. We don't pay anything at all. I keep the leads paused 24-7 all the time. And I used to try to do the same exact strategy before from my phone where you had to pause it every two days. Well, it's very annoying and you got to always remember. Currently, I um, outsource the workout to one of my employees um, that I've obtained from Fiverr. I've got a uh, video on Fiverr. Um, it's a great place to find freelance help from logos to, you know, blog articles to website help to social media help, everything. And that's where I actually found someone to help me with this project of every 14 days, jump on there pause it, make sure we don't get any leads. So since the new time, we've probably sold five jobs, but I mean, we signed up towards the end of the season when it was all said and done, and now we're ready to go for the summer. Now. One other tip and trick. When you get listed on HomeAdvisor, you don't want to have zero reviews. You need those reviews to be up. What works best is if someone scrolls through HomeAdvisor and they see you with the most reviews, the best reviews, the number one person on there, and they can't contact you on there because your leads are paused. So that's what's going to spark them to Google you and find you on your website, find you on your Facebook, find you on your anything, any social media platform you're on, and then call you and Home Advisor gets no money, and you still get the business from Home Advisor. And to get this, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. There's, it's actually not too bad uh, to maybe generate some, I wouldn't say fake reviews, but sending that review link to everyone that's had a great experience with your work across the, you know, across the way. Send it to all of them. Send it to all of them. Send it to your friends. Send it to your family. 
you need as many good reviews as you can get and you want to check the competition get on there see what your competition looks like see how many reviews they have Do they have 20 reviews well can you get to 30 reviews because that's instantly going to put you at the top and you got to keep monitor because once the rev your reviews are up there well you need to make sure they're not passing you because you probably won't get any more five star reviews because you're not really on the platform. <laughs> the last tips and tricks, before when I was listed, I was only listed under like the cheapest services because there's a broad spectrum on Home Advisor. Do you want to be listed for concrete curbs? Do you want to be listed for concrete stairways? Do you want to be listed for concrete driveways, concrete patios, concrete walls? Do you want to be listed for all this stuff? Concrete foundations? Well. You can, but some of them cost a lot more money than others. So I was originally only listed for concrete patios, which was a, a fairly inexpensive lead to obtain. Well, now I'm listed on everything. So now when someone search anything concrete related at all, or even some other services, like we provide uh, dirt work, we provide um, gravel delivery. So get listed for everything you can, because if you keep those leads paused, you will not have to. Hey everybody, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. If you know, then you know.